Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review the first episode of Citrus. So this happened exactly how I thought it would go down, but boy was it fun and interesting to watch. So, with this series we have our main character, Yuzu, and she's kind of a, a gyaru, I think is what they call them, and uh, she has to transfer to a new school because her mom married this... I'd say he's an asshole because, I mean, freaking, the mom was like, oh, he left, um, to go, uh, travel the world or whatever, or like when they move into their new house or, or apartment, whatever, and I'm just like, who does that? <laughs> like, what? But, okay, <laughs> whatever. But, um, yeah, she gets a new family, basically, with her mom, and they have to, you know, transfer and everything. She has to go to a new school, which ends up being an all-girls school, and it's like, all right, there we go, and the student council president... Well, she's quite the character because her introduction was quite something. She literally walks up to Yuzu and, uh, gropes her to get her phone, but I'm just like, really? That's quite an introduction for sure. I was like, wow, okay, we're getting right to it here because I know this is a Yuri anime. I know, I know these things are going to happen, but it was like, whoa, all right, back up two steps, thank you. But um, anyway, so yeah, she goes out through her school day, you know, and she finds something interesting. There's a hot teacher named Amamiya, and I'm just like, oh, look at that. And uh, she thinks, oh, I'll go after the teacher, and uh, when she follows him, she finds out he, he that he's most likely forcing himself on May, which is the uh, student council president's name we learn later, but uh, he's most likely forcing himself on her, but because that's what it looked like to me, but I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, because the way that scene played out, I'm like, he looks like he's forcing himself. I'm not sure why. Not sure why that's happening. Maybe he's paying her, but I doubt because she's, like, super rich. So I'm not sure why that's a thing. But, um, unless that's supposed to be the guy she's supposed to marry because she's already been, like, planned for marriage because of the whole she's the granddaughter of the guy who runs the school. So there's that. And it's like, okay, maybe that's why. I don't know, really. But hot teacher's... Uh, scumbag. Great. Dang it. That sticks. <laughs> it's like, hot teacher's a scumbag. Dang it. <laughs> but, um, also, I like how, like, um, I like Yuzu. I actually really like Yuzu a lot. Um, because I like how when she was getting to the school, she's like, I've never had a first kiss, and I always dream of the first kiss, like, in manga. And I'm like, girl, I feel you. I understand. Uh, but, anyway, so, yeah, though, she goes about her day, you know, she gets her phone taken away. There's this, like, old lady who's super weird looking. Her hair was like, what is that hair, man? But she gets the phone back, and she has this conversation with this, uh, girl with, like, pigtails? And, um, I guess, I don't remember what, I think her name was Hardamine. And, uh, basically, she used to be a guy who, too, but she was explaining how the school works, you know. These kids have been sheltered all their lives and whatnot. I'm like, okay, I understand. So when Yuzu goes back, you know, back to the house, see mom, and mom explains that her new husband's gone, like, to travel the world, didn't even take her with him, like, what the heck, man, but okay. Um, so yeah, that's when, you know, May shows up, it's like, this is your new little sister, because of the way your birthdays fall and everything, and it's like, oh, okay, I knew that was coming, because I read the description of this anime, but I'm like, alright, let's get to this. So, yeah, though, that's when things get... Hey boy, that's when things get intense after dinner, um, <laughs> after, you know, the mom talks to, uh, May, who hasn't seen her father in nearly five freaking years, and I'm just like, what kind of asshole of a father do you have, girl? My gosh, he's a, ugh, he's a bad father, my goodness, but anyway, um, May, though, she, um, doesn't really want to open up to Yuzu as Yuzu tries to talk to her after having her time in the bath, and she's like, wait, why do you keep thinking about her? Ah, and I'm like, girl, you've fallen in love. That's what's happening right now. But, um, but May wants to talk to her in a different way, and May steals Yuzu's first kiss, and wow, was that, uh, a first kiss, all right? I was like, all right, okay, there's the Yuri. I understand, but it's like, wow, that was intense. Um, it couldn't just be like a little peck, but no, it's like all in. I'm like, whoa, all right then. So that was interesting. And, uh, the May leaves and, uh, that's the end of the episode. I'm like, wow, that was really interesting. I, I, I like this show. I don't, I probably shouldn't, but I really do. It's really interesting for some reason, and I want to see more. So, what did you guys think of the first episode of Citrus? What do you think's gonna happen next? I have no idea. It looks like May's talking about her grandfather or something next episode. Want to go to his house or something? I don't know. And probably more Yuri action to come. So, what did you guys think of it? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye.